Hey guys, welcome back to the Hammer Down Pros tabletop review. Today we have something that I was really, really excited about. I um, purchased a knife for about 23 bucks. Somebody was recommending it. I saw it online. I did some research online and I ordered it. <clears throat> and it is the GV DV full tang hunting knife. We have it right here. I'm going to open it up and let you see how they packaged it. Um, great packaging. Kind of cool for it to be a minimalist knife. All right. So um, it's one solid hunk of uh, stainless stone washed steel. Uh, 65 HRC is what they're giving it the rating, the hardness rating. Rust resistant stone wash treated uh, treat, treatment to, to finish. I think it's a great looking knife and it doesn't stop there. Um, again, one solid piece of metal. And what we're gonna call that is, we're gonna call it minimalist, all right? So a minimalist knife for 20 bucks. Sounds kind of sketchy, but I did the work for you and I went on ahead and I got it. So we saw the box, we're gonna pull it out here I'm going to put the knife down there, all right, and we're going to take it out of the sheath here and produce it for you, and there we go. So, that is the GV DV Full Tang Hunting Knife. We're going to use the word minimalist. We're going to use that because we're talking about a single piece of metal with a knife. As an example of what we're talking about for people who are not in the know. We're gonna show you the cold steel thrower, which is also a minimalist knife, mission specific. It's meant to be a thrower, so people buy that to do the throwing thing with. And a survivor knife, I don't know the model. I just picked this knife up. I was gonna do a video on this knife by itself, but I liked it so much that I actually had a sheath made for this knife. This is a survivor, um, I guess they would call it a combat knife. I don't know the model. Maybe somebody can message me in, in the comments and let me know what the particular model is. But when we're talking about a minimalist knife, this is what we're talking about. A single piece of metal of certain very thicknesses specific this one would be you can see all the serrations and whatever i guess they would call this a surviving a survival knife this cold steel here is a thrower so it's meant to be you know people who want to do the throwing knobs at targets or whatever and this of course is our baby that we got today it still has the tip on it or whatever so we'll remove the special guest from out of the way and we'll concentrate on our GV DV full tank hunting knife. Let's run through it real quick. Total length 13.4 inches, blade length 7.3 inches, blade thickness 0 0.23. It's about a pound point, well, what was they said? 1.03 pounds, and of course, the handle is paracord. Um, it is real paracord. I tested it, it's paracord, and it comes with the weave that could be tighter and the um, little tail that they weaved it into could be tighter. Has a nice little brass bead. I thought that was a nice touch. But for the most part, 20 bucks or 23 bucks, you can't beat that. I think I double checked it before I um, started filming this. It was on sale. I quoted on sale at Amazon for 23. It actually is back up to 29, so the sale is over. But guys, you gotta, chase these deals when you can get them. I think I I ordered two more before the price went back up because I was gonna get some for a couple of friends of mine. Um, let's concentrate on some of these features. It has this finger ring. Now, I need you to know this is not finished. This is still very rough, very straight, very harsh, but inside they tried to grind it down a little bit. So when you grip it up, you grip it up in the face. You can feel that they tried to grind it down a little bit. It didn't do too much with it, but that's kind of the appeal of it. 
it's such a rough knife. That's why in the title I put, it's an under $25 brute of a knife. It's a brute. This is a, this is the knife that you're, you see those guys chopping trees and, you know, um, digging in the fire, campfire with it and whatever. These, this is the knife that you want to do that with. This is the one. This is the one. Um, it has this pronounced guard that, uh, according to the manufacturer, it's supposed to stop your hand from slipping up when you're doing rough use with the knife. So between the ring and that guard, you're doing pretty good. I don't think your hand is going to do anything. I don't think your hand is going anywhere near the blade. These serrations are pretty rough. You can use them for, you know, as we found out as of late, grinding down and uh, chewing up fat wood to do prep for campfires and whatnot and one of my favorite features super sharp blade goes down into this clip point and both of these edges are sharp this is sharpened come sharpened and this comes sharpened and this is this is pretty sharp this is pretty sharp you know me i'm fickle i say oh i can hit it with a diamond sharp i didn't have to do it with this one either it's really pretty sharp and that's a pretty pronounced point okay let's get a look at the thickness real quick Look at that. That's your thickness. And get a close-up of those teeth. A close-up of those serrations up top. It's almost like a double serration there. I like that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So let's go over the uses real quick. Um, I see it as being a stash knife. And when I say a stash knife, what I'm talking about for this minimalist knife is probably something if you have one of those cars that still have the tire down in the wheel well in the trunk you might want to oil this up good stick it back in the sheath put it down there with your tire you know check your state and see what's legal in your state as far as what you can carry in your car or whatever god knows you don't want to get in trouble for that um or stick it in the uh what is that the jack compartment in your car or truck some some somewhere you could stash it even if you stash it under your seat or something where somewhere where only you know where it is the kids don't know somewhere where no one usually goes but you know it's there so it's a great stash knife camping great fishing we already talked about camping we already talked about being able to actuate and move around the logs in a small campfire with this is that knife again fishing i um Yard work, if you got a bigger yard, you're out near the edge of the woods or whatever, you just want to have a knife on you that you don't mind beating up or losing. If you lose it, it's only 23 bucks. Hiking, if you, you know, again, if it's legal to carry something like this in your pack, it's not a bad thing to have in your pack. And um, it doesn't cost your arm and a leg. Uh, back to fishing, I got a friend who does canoe fishing. And I gave him a knife or a machete for him to use when he kind of floats out to one of those islands in the middle of the lake or the river and he says yeah i'll tie up there and i'll fish there for a while or whatever and you know he chops down the entryway so he can get up and i'm saying to myself well you know this would have been great for that because i'm pretty sure that machete i gave him was a lot more expensive than this so he wouldn't mind losing this he wouldn't want to lose anything but this wouldn't kill you he wouldn't stay up all night about this again roadside kit um a car emergency kit or a cheap addition to your bug in or bug out bag so um i have a friend we just put together a bag for his wife's car she was very responsive to it she was like yeah that all of that flares medical kit you know um uh, thermal blanket you never know between the weather and all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now this is the kind of thing that would be a great addition to your bag, to your pack, to your kit as a stash knife, camping, fishing, whatever, for a great, great, great price. So in the end, um, let's just say because of the value alone, um, we're going to give the GV DV full tang hunting knife three, three. hammer downs <laughs> and the hammer down approval for this knife this is a great knife for a great price guys i hope that it drops again again i got it on amazon but i haven't seen it for sale anywhere else but i'm pretty sure it is go out there hunt it down it's a great price look at that little brass thing i like that i like that little brass b 
speed they put on there. And um, yeah, guys, get these deals. This will be the one. This will this will be the one. So we'll bring in the guest stars one more time so you can take a look at them up against it. There you go. We'll move them in the in the, in the shot here. And uh, yeah, that's um that's going to be it for for this one, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Message me. Let me know what you guys think I'm doing here. And um, I think you guys are great. Look, be careful out there. Be good. And uh, cut away. And I'll see you next time. Peace.